Did you know that just one vote from an NBA media member can be the difference between a player making tens of millions of dollars? That's how the all NBA voting system works today. So let's break it down real quick. At the end of each NBA season, a global panel of 100 sports writers and broadcasters gather together to vote on all NBA teams. There's three teams, the first team, the second team, and the third team. Each player receives five points for a first team selection, three points for a second team selection, and one point for a third team selection. Voters can choose two guards, two forwards, and one center for each of the three teams, five players for each team. So after the voting is complete, each NBA player's points are tallied up, and then they're ranked from first team to third team based on the total number of points that they received. But how does money come into play with this? Well, that's where the Derrick Rose rule comes into play. The Derrick Rose rule, or its official name, the fifth year 30% max criteria, allows NBA players the ability to earn a salary that's bigger than their typical maximum salary players can earn in their fifth season. So that's basically a fancy way of saying this. If a player is named to an all-NBA team, first, second, or third team, in the last season, they get a 30% increase in their salary, or they can do it in two of the previous three seasons before their new contract hits. Take Trey Young, for example. He was named to the all-NBA third team this season, which means that he's going to be getting a $35 million increase in salary paid out over the next five years. Now, that's obviously a nice payday for Trey Young. I think most people would agree that he's probably one of the best players in the NBA today, and he deserves to be on the All-NBA third team. But ultimately, the real question is this. With sports writers and broadcasters being the ones deciding on these votes, and ultimately deciding whether players get tens of millions of dollars extra in income, is this fair? I think it's a nice way to determine players' values and see that they get a raise if they perform well. But ultimately, you have to wonder, do personal vendettas play into this, like several players in the past have indicated?